Sorry. Uh, so we're going to start with the St. Beast, right, into the St. Beast arc. Um, I hope you guys can listen really well, but uh, this is What If Part 2, and I'm going to get this right straight. Um, uh, in the canon, uh, before Part 1, we could take a look at Part 1. Um, Yusuke, uh, got, th things changed a little bit in the timeline. Uh, instead of Yusuke getting trained by Genkai, Genkai actually asked Kuwabara to train with Genkai too. Which changed the whole timeline. Which altered the timeline for this what if timeline. So, he actually gets stronger, and so does Yusuke. Yusuke trains with Yus uh, Kuwabara, they spar, they learn the same things they do, they learn the same punches and stuff, and they defeat their enemies, and st uh, well, they get stronger, and they go after the same beast, and now, part two, this is part two now. Those are, that's just a recap. This is the part two. So in those in so after Yusuke defeated the Saint Beast, Kuobara, which I'm gonna tell you right now because after he defeated in this what if he didn't sacrifice himself using his life energy, he actually was strong enough to defeat Zaku <laughs> and well by getting a hidden power boost. He was, well, like, almost like, he was more of a match of, of Zizaku than Zizaku, actually. But, he still had to deal with that. But, he had a hidden power boost, and he actually used his shotgun, which obliterated Zizaku. So, he didn't get injured in this what-if timeline. So, Kuobara doesn't have to worry. And he actually, in those couple of months, instead of sitting there, he actually goes training. And he asks uh, Genkai to train him a little bit after the couple of months. Kuobara comes back, and Yusuke uh, actually started training a little bit. Genkai, uh, Genkai said, you're a little bit more stronger than you were before. And... So, yeah, and Kubara smiles at Genkai and says, go. He says, and he comes back stronger, and he gets shower and whatever. He takes a shower and goes to U where Yusuke lives and go talk to him, and he says, where have you been? Kubara's looking like, I've been training. I've been training a lot. He says, I've been training for those three months. Three months, and wow, and he actually gets stronger. He actually learns that uh, circle punch thing that Yusuke did in the Dark Tournament. Yeah, he learned that. He's not good at it yet, but he's okay. He's not, he hasn't mastered it yet, but he will. He His fighting skills still, eh, but they're actually a little bit better than before. He actually masters his spirit sword, spirit control. His fighting skills are better. Yeah, and his spirit, uh, his spirit power gave uh, his training boost. We're gonna call it. So there's hidden power boost, and then there's training boost. Yeah, by training, uh, it gives him a training boost, which would increase his powers a lot. So, yeah. Kuobara got a training boost after those three months. He's he's a little stronger than your main cannon, actually. A little bit more stronger. So, he does. And the main timeline goes on. They give like they get sorry, they get a um, a VHS tape that Kuimma apparently gave him. And they said that uh Kuobara sits down with Yusuke and they Watch the tape. Zizune still sees it the same way, and he says that you guys are going on some case or something. He says, he says, 
Uh, he said, yeah. So Kovar was like, yeah. He said, he said, don't worry, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'm strong. I'm really strong. I can take care of myself now. Suzune looks at him and, he's, and he knows that he can take care of himself now. He says, okay. He says, and Kobar looks at him and says, but can I get some money? <laughs> can I get some cash for some so I can go on the bus? And Kuma, after he finished, he, that's after he, Kuma finished his uh, case thing. Uh, he asks for money and they go get, the, they have the directions and they go. The demons in this tank cannon are the same that they face. The same. Kuobar is probably two times stronger. Yusuke is the same power level. That she was. No big deal. So, he goes up to him. And they meet the first demons. A couple of demons. They meet that root guy with the snout. Oh yeah. No big deal. He beats the living crap out of him. With no... He doesn't even use his spirit sword. He just beats the living crap out of him. So, that's it. And he starts... They start annihilating with Botan. Yes, Botan's in this still. They're... they're yep. Botan is still with them. In this cannon. Just like an original cannon. And K Botan sees them and they're like, Wow. <laughs> they just took out some low-level... Freaking demon for no problem. That's incredible. Botan looks at him. Kubar. You know, like everything else happens in the timeline. They go through fire with Botan. And it, they're, with uh, Kubar, the difference is Kubar, um, <clears throat> Yusuke's power. Yusuke in the canon, Yusuke used his uh, spirit power because he learned how to channel his spirit power into a, like a shield or something. Like a big old shield. Like that's why they didn't get on flames and stuff. It caught on fire. Because apparently Yusuke used his spirit power to make a shield. A barrier shield. Like a big old circle shield force field around them but not anymore Yusuke is not just using uh, he's not just using his spirit power Kubar is actually helping him with his making his spirit uh, power much making the spirit shield we're gonna call it spirit shield so get over it stronger combining with Yusuke and Kubar Botan and them Botan walk into the mansion and they continue their mission. Until they meet that girl. They meet the girl demon that looks like a, apparently she's a she-male, but, uh, or, or male woman slash, I don't know. Yusuke says he'll take care of her, and he does, like in the original timeline, he, well, except he's actually stronger than the main timeline, he just crushes her. And just beats her down really badly. Kuobara takes on the other amazing characters, and the other one, like, like, whatever monkey guy, <laughs> the demon monkey, whatever he was. And he's like, "Don't worry, you." And she's like, "He's like Kuobara." Uh, Yusuke's like, "Bring him on." It's like Kuobara, and uh, Kuobara puts his hands out and he says. No, you're a meshy. I'll take care of him. And Kurobari calls out on his spirit sword with ease. A little bit more easier. He mastered his spirit sword. Regular spirit sword. One hand spirit sword. Now. Now he, uh, he just crushes him. He actually cuts, uh, Genki, whatever, yeah, Genki monkey, uh, handoff with his spirit sword, and he actually, like, like, 
Well, actually, he actually um, slices him in half, clean in half. Because you know what? Uh, because Botan got in trouble. That never happened. Botan never got caught by Genki m my Monkey. So they continue, and that shadow guy comes. He senses him, and Kobar. Cool uh, Yusuke uses his shotgun, but in the difference in this timeline, he doesn't actually timeline. He put he knocked him unconscious, but in this timeline, Yusuke is much stronger in this timeline than the main timeline, than the cannon. So Yusuke didn't just knock him out; he actually killed him. puts He puts like those spirit, the spirit shotguns right right in his belly. Like, they go right in this, like, chest. He's in his chest, and, like, he's, like, bleeding out pretty badly. So, yeah, he's dead. And they go up to Tugaro. And they meet Tugaro, and they see Yukina. He is very upset. He's, like, he thinks that if this guy lives, he's not just going to hurt Yukina. He's going to do the same thing he did with Yukina, but he's going to do it with everyone else. And that makes him really mad. And he increases his power because of his emotion. He increases a little bit. And he actually gets stronger a little bit. So, he looks back at him and he says, he's, Kobara looks at him and says, Chikoro, and he sees Elder Tagoro, and yes, Elder Tagoro and Tagoro are together still in the main timeline. So Elder Tagoro is laughing, and Tagoro looked at him like, let's get this over with. Tagoro's looking at him like, uh, Kobar looks at Yusuke and says, these guys are tough, be careful. We gotta be careful, these guys are no joke. I can sense their energy, they're, they're pretty strong. Yusuke says, you know, Yusuke is cocky and says, Ah, oh, we're going to kick his ass. Whatever. We're going to kick his ass. Whatever. And, yeah, they get wasted. Because to grow is way stronger still in the cannon. Still stronger than them. Even in the what if cannon, they're still, he's still stronger than him. They're still... The girl is still stronger than they are. Well, yeah. But you realize that the girl realized, uh, Kilbara realized after he's getting his butt bitten, beaten, Kilbara realized that he was thinking, and he remembers that, uh, about Gentai saying that, he, that the same thing that, uh, he taught Yusuke, like, care about people. You know, you know the feelings and stuff. You know, power. No, not blah, 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 Like, you know, feelings and like actually give a shit about people. Think about all the people you care about and let that be your strength. And Kobar actually does. He thinks about Yusuke, Yukina. He sees her face and he sees Hie, Yusuke, all of them dying in front of him. Seeing getting beaten and killed. Thinking he is killed. Like in his mind that he they're dead. That if he let this guy live, that's gonna happen to him. It'll happen to them. And he actually awakens a hidden power inside of him. Which makes him stronger. And cool and Yusuke looks at him like, Cool bar, are you okay? He's like He's like, whoa, Kobara, you're actually getting, you're a lot stronger now. He says, he says, you're meshy. We need to work together. This is, that's the only way we could beat this guy. Yusuke is like, how do you know? He's like, our powers separate are no match. Our, our powers alone are not separate, but our powers together, with our, together our powers can defeat him. I know it. You gotta trust me. Yusuke looked at him and says, Right, buddy. I trust you. And they do. And 
They use the same technique they did, but you can but Kobar is much stronger and he just just defeats a girl. Not killing him, but defeating him. And and they uh they go home and wait, he gets mad and beats up the guy and you Yusuke and Bolton tells him that if he does, if he takes human life, he is forbidden to take him in life. Yada yada yada. Yeah. And if he does, he could get punished for serious for serious love when, like punished, like seriously bad, like seriously punished for it. So Yusuke stops him. Yukina stops him, and they go home. So. So that's like great. So yeah. So if you guys want, if so that's gonna be the end of it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want me to do part three of it, well, just let me uh, know and I will uh, put a part three in. And I hope you have a great day or night, whatever you guys are doing. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye, bye.